Hi friends, welcome back. It is day four of week four, which means we only have two days left in this challenge. So good job showing up today. We're gonna to be doing a full body power flow and these are quick flows. So let's jump straight into it. Come to a comfortable seated position. You can just rest your hands wherever is comfortable and then close off the eyes. Let's take just a moment here to ground ourselves and to center. Bring your awareness to the breath. Just notice where it's circulating, its depth. Does it feel like it's getting stuck somewhere? Just observe. All right, and now I want you to practice elongating your breath. So I'm gonna count for you. We'll inhale for four, exhale for eight, and we'll do that three times. So take a nice deep inhale to prepare and then exhale fully. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Allow the breath to soften and come back to its natural rhythm. Hopefully you're feeling just a little bit of heat starting. Go ahead and blink, open the eyes. Awesome. Inhale, arms up to the sky. As you exhale, stretch over to the right. Really reach through those fingertips, lengthen through that left side of your body. Inhale back up to center. As you exhale, come over to the left. Again, really create space on your right side. Inhale back up to center. Go ahead and split the hands, twist over to the right. Right hand uh, comes behind you as a kickstand, left hand to the outside of your right knee. Inhale, straight back up to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Really grow through the crown of the head, ring out through your center. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Okay, come into a tabletop position. Stack those wrists under your shoulders, knees under the hips, spread through the fingers, really press down through those knuckle ridges, tuck under your toes, and then bring your knees up about an inch off the ground. I know we've done this a lot in this challenge. Hang in there. Your core may still be feeling it from yesterday's handstand flow. We're gonna build that fire again. Obligatory core fire, right? <laughs> okay, now maintaining your hover about an inch off the ground. See if you can practice. Drawing the chest forward, sit bones back and broad for cow, and then rounding the spine for cat. We'll just do this two more times. Come to cow, exhale, round, sit bones tuck under. Last time, draw that gaze forward. Exhale, chin to chest. Good, pop your buns back up and come forward for a downward facing dog. You can take a moment to pedal through the feet, set your posture, lengthen through the spine. Good. I know we've done a lot of planks throughout this entire challenge. Today is no exception. We will be building fire and plank is a great way to do that. So take one more breath here. And then as you inhale, go ahead and wave your body forward to a high plank. Now let's play with the balance a little bit. So as you're holding your plank, see if you can lift left leg, right hand, whoop, find some balance. Place those limbs down, right leg, left arm. Find your balance, place those limbs down, and let's do a chaturanga push-up. Okay, one more time. Left leg, right arm. Your core should be working. Place those down, right leg, left arm. Place them back down, and push up. One more. <laughs> Right arm, left leg, hold, 
place them down and switch sides. Find your balance. One more push up. Press. Good. Drop to the knees. Come back into a tiny respite in a child's pose. Breathe here. Really feel the back side of your body expanding as you inhale. And then press your belly down toward your thighs on your exhales. Awesome. Let's come back up to a downward facing dog. Good. Take a few more breaths here. <laughs> I know, especially after doing like those wall walk ups yesterday, your core may be feeling super burnt out. That's okay. Stick with me and be proud of any effort you put in today. Showing up is the hardest part and the part that matters the most. So no judgment here. Okay. We're going to do another little plank series. We're going to do um, two walking planks. So go one in each direction, and then we'll do a push-up. And we'll just do this twice. So again, on an inhale, go ahead and wave the body forward to a high plank. And pick whichever side you'd like to start on. Go down to forearm, forearm, press back up. And then switch directions. Press back up, and then push up. It can be a chaturanga push-up or any type you would like. Straight back down, up, down, up, and push up. Good, go ahead and wave the body back to your downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale here, and then as you exhale, go ahead and step or jump, feet to the hands. Inhale, come up halfway, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, Exhale, hands down through heart center. All right, go ahead and spread through the toes on your right foot. Really establish your base. Bring hands to heart center. Inhale here. And as you exhale, draw that left heel straight back for a warrior three. So this is our exhale. As you inhale, hinge that hip forward. And we're going to eagle the legs. So cross that left leg over the right. If you're just here, that's fine. Or if you can wrap that foot all the way around. By all means, this is our inhale. As you exhale, go ahead and unwind. Drop back to warrior three. Again, keep that focal point. Uh, inhale, come forward, eagle the legs. Last time, exhale, draw back to warrior three. Inhale, straight away. Come back to eagle. Whew. Might be feeling a little bit of heat on that right ankle. That's totally normal. Go ahead and place your foot. Let's just do a baby tree here. If you want, you can take a full tree. <laughs> just don't place your foot on that knee joint. Hold here. Good. Place that left foot down. Shake out the right ankle. Whew. If you need to like do circles with your ankle, feel free to do that. Now it's a lot on one side. Go ahead and spread through the toes on your left foot. Again, you can bring hands to heart center. Inhale here. And as you exhale, draw that right heel back. So as always, imagine someone's got a string attached to your heel and they're just pulling it back toward the back wall. Inhale, whoop, come forward and eagle those legs. Straight away. Exhale, unwind. Come back to warrior three. Make sure your hips are staying square. Inhale, come forward, eagle those legs. Last time, exhale, warrior three. Hold that balance. If you fall, that's okay. Inhale, come back forward, eagle those legs. Okay, go ahead and take your baby tree or your full tree. Let's find some balance and stability here. Good. And place that right foot down and shake out that left leg. Whew. Again, if you want to circle the ankles, it can feel really nice. <laughs> okay. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. 
Hold here for a moment. In fact, heel toe your feet out to about hip width. And then grab hold of opposite elbows. And you can bend the knees. Hang here and ragdoll for just a moment. Awesome. Okay, make your way down into a kneeling position. We're going to do some half camels and full camel. So in these little back bends, I want you to focus on keeping your core engaged so that you aren't contracting into your low back. Protect those back, your lumbar spine. Protect your spine by keeping the front side of your core engaged. All right, come up to a high kneeling position. You can grab hold of your right ankle with your right hand. Sweep that left arm overhead and open up for a half camel. So again, we're keeping the front of our core engaged. Protect your spine. Inhale, come up. Exhale, let's go over to the left. Engage. Come back up to center. Let's do one more time on the right side. Inhale, come up. Exhale to the left. Sweep that right arm overhead. Exhale, come back up. Now, as you exhale this time, I want you to grab hold of both ankles and come back just as far as you feel comfortable. Do not collapse into that low spine. Keep it protected. Engage your abs. <laughs> just going to call them abs. Inhale, come up. Beautiful. Come down to your knees. Let's flip those legs around. And get a little bit of stretching in. Let's extend your legs out long. Really root down through your sit bones if you need to pull the flesh off your sit bones so that you can really root in and do so. Create a long length between the crown of your head and your, and your mat. And then forward fold on an exhale. So we are not collapsing forward. We are staying nice and lifted here. Feel free to just breathe naturally. All right, inhale, come up. Let's bring the sole of the left foot into the right thigh. Angle your torso so that you are facing that right leg. Inhale to grow tall and exhale, forward fold. We want to feel this in the backs of our legs, not in your low back. So if you are feeling it in your low back, come up a little bit so you can make sure that your spine is nice and long. All right, inhale, come up. Let's switch legs, extend that left leg out long. Bring the sole of the right foot to the left thigh. Angle your torso so it's facing that left leg. Inhale to grow. Exhale, fold. And again, you can place your hands wherever is comfortable. If it's your shin, the mat, if you need a strap, you can use a strap. Hopefully this will feel like a little bit of a relief. <laughs> All right, inhale, come up. Let's extend both legs out long. One last time, forward fold, lengthen. With every inhale, Help your crown to grow higher up toward the sky. With every exhale, focus on rooting down through the sit bones. I'm drawing that belly closer to those thighs. It's not about how deep you get. It's about experiencing the stretch. All right, inhale, come up. A little bit more work. Plant your feet down about hip width. If you've been doing this challenge or if you've simply been on this channel for a little while, you know it's coming. Extend your arms out long. Let's race. See how slow you can possibly lower down to a supine position. Take your time. Use your core muscles. You've got this. Awesome. Sorry, I can't talk and do that at a certain point. <laughs> All right. Bring your heels to about the point where you could reach with your fingertips. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath your back. 
and then we're going to come into a bridge pose. So inhale here, and as you exhale, use your glutes to lift. We're gonna hold here. See if you can find some relaxation in spite of the work. Relax the muscles that can be relaxed. If you're furrowing your brow, <laughs> or if you're like clenching your fingers or your toes, your jaw, relax those areas. A little bit longer, you got this. Inhale, exhale, slowly peel down. Awesome. All right, we're gonna do this two more times. Now option to simply repeat the bridge that we just did, or you can lift one leg at a time up toward the sky. So if you have never done this before, I encourage you to give it a try. If you feel like it's just too much and you are crapped out, then that's totally okay. Just stick with a normal bridge. So go ahead and inhale, and then as you exhale, lift up to that bridge. And again, see if you can lift your right leg up. Hold here. Core is working, glutes are working. Try not to draw that movement up with your arms. Use your lower body. I'm gonna place that right leg down, lower all the way down to the mat. Good. One more time. Take an extra breath here. Recuperate. Inhale. Now as you exhale, go ahead and lift up to that bridge. See if you can lift your left leg up. Breathe through this hold, like don't hold your breath. <laughs> you need that oxygen to support your muscles. A little bit longer. You got this. Go ahead and place that left foot down. Lower all the way down. Good job. Okay, go ahead and window wipe your legs from side to side. Nice, big sweeping movements. All right, and then make your way into whichever variation of Shavasana sounds good to you today. Now we don't have much of a cool down today, but I promise to link to a nice stretchy flow at the end of this video. So again, take whichever variation of Shavasana you'd like. Don't skip your Shavasana. Tuck those shoulder blades underneath the back, place the hands on the belly and close off the eyes. Now take this opportunity in Shavasana to allow your breath to relax you. You can take an accounting of it again, where it's circulating. Does it feel labored? Is it easy? Does it still feel like it's getting stuck somewhere if it was before? Just use that observation to relax you. Feel the nourishment of that oxygen coming in and of that carbon dioxide going out. And then see if you can move your breath down into the belly. Maybe just a couple more breaths here. So as always with these little mini Shavasanas and these shorter flows, if you feel like you need to stay in Shavasana longer, please feel free to do so. Honor what your body needs. Go ahead and begin to make some subtle movements with the fingers and toes. And then as soon as you feel ready, go ahead and roll to whichever side feels comfortable to you today. Make your way up into a seated position with your eyes remaining closed. Bring hands to heart center. 
and blink open the eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for uh, flowing with me today. Please join me again tomorrow. It is the final day of the Summer Strength Challenge. And if this is your first video jumping in on this channel, feel free to go back. There are four weeks of these types of power flows. So please check that out. And hopefully I will see you here again tomorrow. It will be a vinyasa flow, but I've put in some fun postures that you don't see very often. So it's like a playful, fun asana vinyasa. So join me for that. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a slow day.